What's up? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I have another chat GPT tutorial. This one is dedicated towards showing you how to create your own custom chat GPT. And in this specific example, I am going to show you how to create a custom chat GPT that acts as your personal stager. So this is extremely important as a real estate agent for you to be able to give feedback to your clients about what they can potentially do to improve the appeal of their house prior to showings, pictures, and all of that. So if that sounds interesting to you, stay tuned. All right, as you can see, we are at ChatGPT now, and we are going to create, again, as mentioned, a custom ChatGPT. To do that, you come down to your name here in the bottom left-hand corner, and then My GPTs, and this is available on the paid plans, so just keep that in mind, $20 a month. I do not believe this is offered in the free version. So just keep that in mind. But if you're a real estate agent, you're probably gonna want chat GPT, especially the 4.0, because you can get more creative responses. I find I use this literally probably every five minutes throughout my day in some capacity for my real estate business. So as you can see up here, we've got the custom GPTs. These are all the ones that I have created and messed around with, but I am going to create a new one. We have a new dialogue window or pop-up window that pops up for this new GPT. So you can go ahead and create it here by just having a conversation with it, telling it what you wanna do. I want you to act as my personal stager, etc. We're gonna do it different. We're gonna do it, in my opinion, uh, a more optimal way, a more detailed way that gets you a better response out of chat GPT. So we're just gonna call this a stager, real estate stager, how about that? Real estate stager. And then we are going to create an image using Dolly, which is an image generator, uh, if you're not familiar with it. So while it's doing that, I am going to head over to Notion, which is a different application that I use as well. I use this a ton to keep my life organized. I have a lot of moving pieces in pretty much all aspects of my life. So Notion helps to keep me organized, absolutely love it. I have custom personas for real estate agents. I've created 19 of them, and these custom personas uh, are basically everything that a real estate agent does themselves or hires out. Um, so in this particular case, I am going to select the stager because that's a custom GPT that we are creating. And then uh, it says, what would you like GPT to know about you to provide better responses. And then we've got function, importance, skill, and the goal. And just as an example here, the goal is to provide properties or to make properties more attractive to the higher number of potential buyers, maximizing the sale or rental price. That's exactly what we want. And then we've got how we would like chat GPT to respond. And then there's a list of detail and how we would like them to respond. Tone and formality, level of detail, preferred references, examples or analogies, avoidance or amb ambiguity, resource links, follow-up questions, tables, property solving. For tables, in this example, I did put comparison of st staging styles and their effectiveness in different market segments. Make a column for good, better, best, where you recommend solutions from cheap and easier to more complex and expensive. So I'm gonna copy both of these and then I am going to go back over to ChatGPT, paste this information in first the function, and I'm just going to give it a header here so uh, ChatGPT knows what these bullets are in regards to. And it's uh, basically what I would like ChatGPT to know. And then I'm going to enter in the other portion, which is how I want chat GDP to respond. Perfect. Okay. I do not need Dolly image generation here. So I am just going to leave it, leave it as is and see how it responds here. So I'm going to hit save in the top right corner 
and I'm going to publish to only me. So let's give this a test. I have brought two images over to my desktop. Uh, they're both different. Let's do, let's do this one first. It is an empty room for a new construction property. So I'm just going to tell it to analyze the photo and provide a table of suggestions and just, and see what it says here. So as you can see, it's just a vacant empty room here. And right now it is running through the process of creating the table. As you can see, we've got column headers aspect, good, better, best. And then it's going to give us detailed analysis of what we can do to have a good, good paint, better paint, best paint. Same with flooring, lighting, windows. For furniture, as an example, it's saying a single accent chair and side table, a small seating area with a love seat and a coffee table. This isn't exactly what I had in mind. I figured it would think that this was a bedroom. So let's say, let's just give it more instructions and say, this is a bedroom. Give me suggestions based on that. All right, now it is tailoring the suggestions for a bedroom. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty awesome. It's uh, telling us, giving us some different options for beds, clean bed with a stylish duvet, for better, a well-made bed with quality comforter set and a headboard, and then for best, a luxurious bed with a high thread count linen and a statement headboard. And then let's just scroll through here. Wall art, it's giving us some options there as well some furniture, it's giving us a window treatment suggestions. So yeah, I mean, this is this is amazing. It's not exactly giving us a visual. I'm, I'm sure at some point in the future, there will probably be something that can virtually stage your photos within chat GPT. I'm sure that's something that's coming. Very, very interesting. So let's do that again, but this time for a staged room. Do the same for this bedroom. And let's just see what happens. So this bedroom I intentionally picked out because there's uh, junk on the bed. There's foam padding on the floor, a big fan, two chairs. They don't really provide much value in a room like that. I just want to see what it has to say about how it would at uh, attack this room. Yeah, remove the mismatched chairs and two, and add two matching nightstands. That's amazing that it was able to recognize that. Deep clean or replace the blue carpet if budget allows. Yeah, that's probably because uh, blue carpets weren't in since around the 90s. Organization, declutter the room and include surfaces and floors. Um, so that, yeah, it's basically saying get that fan out of there, get those foam pads out of there, get the junk off the bed. Uh, let's see what it says about window treatments. Hang new neutral curtains for a clean look. I'm pretty impressed about this. You could go in for your listing appointment, take pictures with your phone, and then tell your client, give me some time to put the information together. And you could even give suggestions like this if you don't think that they would take offense to this. You're giving them all the tools necessary that they would need to sell their house for top dollar, depending on what their budget is. Like get the clutter off the bed have the carpets cleaned, do some of the more reasonable things before listing the house. And if they've got the money to allow for it, they might go in and put new floors. I am very impressed that ChatGPT has the ability to analyze these photos to the level of removing the mismatched chairs and the clutter off the floor and bed. That is absolutely amazing. You can just type in what you would like in the ChatGPT, or you can provide it detailed personas like I have on my Notion template. Those are available for purchase on my website. Those 19 personas come as one package and it is for sale for six bucks at the time of this video. Uh, it did take me quite a bit of time to put all of those together. So it might be worth your while to just pay the six bucks if you think you'd like to have some of these different personas. And you don't necessarily have to create a chat GPT for each of these. Uh, you can also come down here and do custom instructions. And as you can see, what would you like ChatGPT 
PDML and how would you like ChatGPT to respond? This is an exact alignment with what was on um, those custom personas in Notion. So you can just copy and paste them in there if you didn't want to create your own. Uh, you'll just need to change it each and every time. That's why I don't like doing that as much, uh, but you could certainly do that as well. Well, that is it for today's video. I hope you found it super valuable. If you did, please do like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.